All right, step number one, select your default cube, press X, delete, shift A, mesh, and we're gonna make use of a plane, press S10. There we go. The next thing you wanna do is select your render settings, change from EV to cycles. It won't work if you're not in cycles. Right, then click your light source, go to your object data properties of your light, and you'll notice that node, use node is available. If we were in EV, this option would not be available. That's why we need to use cycles. Click use nodes and let's lift, let's change to our render view mode of here. Let's open up a second tab. I'm gonna put numpad three for right orthographic and numpad seven for top orthographic. I'm gonna lift this up. I'm gonna change this to a spotlight. I'm going to press N and just make all these settings zero. Just typing in zero, enter each time. All right, so currently we don't see any light source. So all we have to do on this screen here is press G, Z, and just lift this up until we are satisfied. And I'll do something like that. Very happy with that. Next thing we want to do over here is change to our shader editor because we have selected the option with the light source to use nodes. Now we could use an emission which is fine but we want to attach an image to this. So type in image. By the way let me show you. I type in shift A search image texture and I connect that image texture to the color. Then I press open. I've already downloaded an image. Find an image that you want to use. I'm going to use Batman. And next thing you want is to control the text texture coordinates so we can see this. We can press Shift A and we can type in texture coordinates. There it is. And we can just quickly run through these to find one that works. Generator doesn't work. Normal kind of works. We haven't UV unwrapped this so that will probably not work. object, camera, windowed, reflection. So it looks like normals is our best bet. Now we could also try and use an object. So let's connect it to an object now if we're not happy with this. Also with normals we might want to make this a single image. We could also make this a movie in theory and we can also bump up the strength to maybe 10. So it really really pops. But um, it's not showing us. Oh, no wonder. Clip. And now we just want to move this into the correct place. So all I'm going to do is. Now we just need to position this. And all we need to do is press Shift A. First thing we want to do is go to Converter and use Vector Math. Connect this in over here. And let's use... 0 0.5 0 0.5 and that looks pretty good 0 0.5 the problem with this in my view it doesn't fill up the entire area and I kind of want to focus on the the round bit that we see so all we have to do now is press shift a converter vector math again but this time we can select scale and we can move this but hold in shift Perhaps let's make this 0 0.6 and let's move this in place and hold in shift and you can just visually decide what looks right. And there you go. And just like that, we've created a light effect on our ground, which looks amazing. And we can move this around and we can even press shift a mesh plane rotate on the x-axis 90 degrees s20 g x oh sorry g y bring it back here and perhaps we just need to give this a quick material as well i like using glossy materials although it doesn't really matter in this example give this also a material 
glossy 0 0.2 and press numpad 7 so we can see what's going on here in render view so that's what we have and let's turn on our camera so we can see what our camera sees sorry select this rotate this and you can see it rotates quite nicely but yeah hope you enjoy this tutorial please don't forget to like and subscribe